This is the Christmas Tree Truck String Art Kit Tutorial by String Art by Kaylee. To make this piece, you will need the String Art Kit, which can be purchased in my Facebook tutorial group. You will get yarn bundles and your color choices, a strand of these decorative Christmas lights, and a vinyl saying of your choice. You will also need a pair of scissors and a straight edge such as a squeegee. The very first thing we will do is take a picture of our board. We will be removing this paper and all of these lines will disappear. So that picture will be a reference to see each section clearly. Taking the organza bag with the greens and browns in it, go ahead and remove all those yarn bundles. We will be starting with the tree. The very first section will be the trunk of the tree. So take that brown bundle, the strand wrapped around the middle, go ahead and unravel it. With that same strand, we'll be tying a loop up in the air. This is how I start my knots. Then we tuck that loop onto any one of the nails on that tree trunk, pull it tight. Make sure you push that knot all the way down to the base of the board. That is super important throughout this entire string art process. Go ahead and outline the tree trunk so we can see it. You can see I've pushed that yarn all the way down and then we will go ahead and fill in. There's not a certain way to do it. The point is just to fill in all the gaps so you don't see the board anymore. So to string in all different directions to help fill it in. We don't wanna go past the halfway point on the height of these nails. A lot of them will be sharing with other sections and different colors, so we have to save room. Then we'll go ahead and do an outline on the tree trunk. It really only needs to go on that top line, and then we'll go ahead and tie off. I cut my yarn about three to four inches long, make that same loop that we used at the beginning, tuck it onto one of the nails again in that tree trunk area, pull it tight. And then I will take the scissors and trim that strand to about a half an inch and tuck that strand in between the layers to help hold the knot. Next, we will end up doing the body of the tree. So go ahead and grab that green bundle, the strand around the middle, go ahead and pull it to unravel. Go ahead and do that loop just like we did in the past. Tuck it onto one of the nails on the tree. I like that bottom corner right there. And then we'll give the full thing an outline. And now we'll go ahead and fill in. Please pay attention to the outline of your tree. You don't wanna go outside of it or else you will lose all your branches and the shape of the tree itself. You can see that I'm battling some knots here in my yarn. It is likely that it will happen. You just kind of have to work through it. Make sure that you're really pushing that yarn down and only going about halfway up the height of the nail. It's super important this entire process. Now that mine is filled in, we are going to go ahead and outline it again. I always like to finish with these outlines because it gives each section a nice smooth finished look. It is optional, you don't have to do it. It can just make your piece look a little bit cleaner. We don't need to outline along the bottom because that will be covered up by future colors later. So we'll go ahead and tie off. Again, we cut the strands about three to four inches, made that loop, tucked it on a nail, trimmed it down, and tucked that end in. Now we'll do the lights. I like to tie it onto that bottom corner nail like we started with the green yarn. And then you're just going to play around and string up the tree. This might take a few different tries. You can see I'm already adjusting it. It always takes me a few different tries to get it to my liking. The strand isn't super long. So you really just have to play around with the spacing to get it up to the top of the tree. As you can see, I didn't quite make it. So I'm just going to go ahead and try again. Just be patient. It might take a few times. And then just like we do with the yarn, I do that loop to tie it off. And we'll trim it again and tuck them between the layers. So 
So by now you've seen the basic steps for each section. I'm going to do a quick string throughout the rest of this tutorial. You'll be able to see in what order each section should go. The biggest things to remember are just always push that yarn down as far as you can go and make sure you don't go above that halfway point on the height of these nails. Like I said, a lot of the nails share different yarn colors. You'll see how this red overlaps the tree right here. Just really pay attention because they will get pretty full towards the end. Just like how we do the finishing outlines on the outer parts of sections, we will outline this window as well. These nails here, you'll just do one line up and down. It's just a decorative touch. After the body of the truck, we'll do the muffler, running boards, and wheels. I always like to make it a little bit easier, and instead of tying off on each section, I will just go through the other. I call it a sneak through. It will be covered up later. Just make sure if you do these sneak throughs that you only do it through sections that will be covered by yarn. Like I did right there, I went through those fenders. It will be covered up later. I will do more sneak throughs on these running boards just to help fill in the gaps and keep that pattern. I'll go through the fenders again or connect over to the tire. They will be covered up later. Just make sure if you are doing it, you only go through sections that will have future yarn on them. If the sneak throughs make you feel uncomfortable, you don't have to do them. Feel free to tie off in between each area. And then we'll jump over to the door handle. It's just a simple outline. You just kind of crisscross in between each nail and then go along the bottoms and then the tops to make it a little bit thicker. The truck is now finished. We will go ahead and put on the vinyl lettering. You'll go ahead and flip it upside down, grab your straight edge or squeegee and scrape the back of it. This will help push that vinyl to stick to the transfer tape. Keeping it upside down, you'll go ahead and slowly start peeling the backing off. Make sure you go nice and slow as sometimes the vinyl still wants to stick to the back. Once you have successfully removed the vinyl, go ahead and flip that tape over and we'll figure out our placement at the top of the board. Once you have figured out your placement, go ahead and grab your straight edge or squeegee and scrape that on there. This will help the vinyl stick to the board. And then I like to pull the transfer tape off against that squeegee to help keep it pressed down. And we now have a finished Christmas tree truck. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give it a like and feel free to subscribe to my channel for more tutorials. Thank you for watching.